Hey, what's up? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Cult Juice channel where we talk all things pop culture. And in today's video, we're going to be getting into the Lil Wayne and the halftime show Jay Z drama. There's been so much going on online with this, and I wanted to talk about it. Now, first things first, we got word that Kendrick Lamar is going to be headlining the 2025 halftime show at the Super Bowl. Okay. And people flipped out. All the Drake fans were heated. They were mad as hell. Like, oh my gosh, how are you going to just do Drake like that? Okay, because, you know, the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef is, you know, is going on. So they feel like they got snubbed. Okay, the Drake fans, they feel offended. But honestly, I feel like no shade, but um, Drake didn't have a big year this year when it comes to the music scene. Like, I mean, Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us is the biggest rap song of the year. So, you know, I, I mean, it is what it is. And honestly, no shade, but um, Drake lost the whole, you know, Kendrick versus Drake beef thing. He lost that real bad. So, you know, he can't really, you know, y'all can't be mad at that. Okay. The winner won the beef. So stop. Um, now let's get into it. Um, Jay-Z pick, picked Kendrick and many people feel like Jay-Z should have picked Wayne instead. Okay. They said that Wayne is the better option when it comes to the location of the Super Bowl. It will be happening in New Orleans. Okay. And in case you all do not know, but that is where Wayne is from. Okay. And people are saying that, you know, Wayne just deserves it. You know, he's a legend, he's an icon, and it's overdue for him to do the halftime show. Now, I get that. But honestly, though, in all of the cities that happen for the Super Bowl, like everybody's not from that city wherever the Super Bowl halftime is happening at. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. And um, there were two uh, New Orleans Super Bowls before, and nobody from New Orleans who lived there did it if that makes any sense you know so i feel like a lot of this outrage and backlash is just that people just feel like jay-z made the wrong decision um a lot of this backlash is stemming from jay-z um they feel like jay-z isn't really for young money they feel like jay-z is against young money and he is you know jealous of young money and what young money has done for the culture um and they feel like you know jay-z is just envious and bitter okay and um, I think that honestly, though, the music industry is a business, okay? And when you're operating in the business of music, you have to do things that cater towards the business. So, for example, if Kendrick Lamar has the biggest song out right now and he is, you know, being talked about in so many different capac capacities and his song is, you know, on Billboard, X, Y, and Z and everything is going crazy and, you know, the most streams for this song ever on Spotify... You know, they're going to pick what is selling and what can bring the most traction to the NFL. You see what I'm saying here? You see, honestly, Jay-Z made a good decision because we're all talking about it. Now, was his decision fair or was it, you know, you know, was it for the culture? No, it wasn't for the culture. But according to business and being a business minded person, Wayne was not the fit for this year. And I'm not saying that Wayne doesn't deserve to do it at all. It's just that this year was not meant for Wayne to do it because Kendrick Lamar does have that you know, that, that pull on the industry right now to be able to, you know, have a controversial moment. You know, the, it's, I'm just being real on the, from, from, from a business standpoint, I see where Jay-Z's coming from, but from a culture and from a rap standpoint and a hip hop standpoint, I feel like Jay-Z missed his mark to honor Wayne in his own city, honestly. But we have to be honest here. At the end of the day, this is a business at the end of the day. Now, people are saying that Wayne is just not a good performer and Wayne would not be able to know how to properly perform at the halftime show stage. Um, and they said that Kendrick Lamar is a way better performer. Um, I feel like Kendrick Lamar, he can perform really well. Yeah. Um, you know, but I just feel like honestly, men in general who perform are boring. Like rappers who are men, they don't have that much of a good performance in general, but I will say Kendrick is better, but I, I wouldn't say Wayne is terrible. You know, Wayne has, you know, some pretty good performances, I can say. Um, but I do think that the catalog wise, I think that catalog wise, I think that Kendrick has more mainstream, mainstream hits than Wayne. Now, I'm not saying Wayne doesn't have any mainstream hits, but when it comes to like mainstream in terms of like being mainstream to the point where white people slash the general public, okay, knows your music, I feel like more of the general public knows Kendrick's music than Wayne's music. So I feel like it just makes more sense business-wise to put Kendrick in it in terms of the halftime show. Now, I'm not saying Wayne does not have hits. I know some people are going to listen to this and be like, oh my gosh, what do you mean Wayne doesn't have any hits? No, Wayne has hits, but GP hits versus like a hit are two different things, okay? A GP hit is a song like God's Plan, right? That's, that's a GP. Everybody knows that song, you know, whites, everybody. everybody. And when I say whites, I mean white because in hip-hop, 
that's that's typically the outlier of you know the culture. So um, you know God's plan is an example of a GP hit. Now a hit that's you know just a, a general hit you know that's everybody knows and likes will be a song called Six Foot Seven. Now Six Foot Seven is a hit, but it's not a GP hit where like the general public is just you know it, it, it's a big big difference here. Um, and I think that Kendrick has way more of those GP hits. Now I do think that Wayne doing the halftime show though will be a great great look for the culture. I mean, I feel like Jay-Z should have picked Wayne, you know, when it comes to this. But I do think that, honestly, Kendrick Lamar should bring out Wayne, okay, just so he can, you know, stand in solid, you know, solitude with Wayne so he can prove to, you know, the audience that, hey, I support you, Wayne. Come out and do your little show, okay? Come out and do your performance. I think that he should bring out Wayne for like, you know, maybe like three, four minutes, okay? The halftime show is 13, 14 minutes. Go ahead and bring out Wayne. All right. Now, after all this is going on, we have so many people bashing Jay-Z. OK, Nicki Minaj comes out. She speaks out. You know, Nicki, she has something to say because, you know, at the end of the day, Wayne is her. You know, that's her. <laughs> that's her boss. OK, I won't I won't point in time. Wayne was her boss, but not anymore. I don't think. But um, that, that was her boss. That was her mentor. That was her person who, you know, helped her get to where she's at. And the same thing for Drake. OK, um, people just feel like, you know, Wayne needs he needs he deserves more. They feel like the culture hasn't really given Wayne his flowers like that. And I can see that. I can do see that. But I feel like um, the, a lot of the backlash towards Jay-Z is that Jay-Z is just very envious of Wayne. They feel like that's what's going on here. And they feel like Jay-Z is a sellout. Okay. Jay-Z, um, you know, is profiting off of the Colin Kaepernick situation. All right. By, you know, having all this financial control. I'm sorry, financial gain and having all this control over the NFL. So it's just like too much power in one area. And people hate that. They hate the fact that Jay-Z and Rock Nation has all this power. And what I will say, though, is that one person having all the power is never a good thing. Um, I think that power should be evenly distributed amongst, you know, different people, especially when it comes to choices like this. OK, um, because I feel like it puts too much power in Jay-Z's hands to control who gets what opportunity. You know, people, it's just too much. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's when people start to feel a bit of resentment towards Jay-Z when things aren't done properly. And I, am I blaming Jay-Z 100%? I mean, I'm not blaming him all the way, but I do feel like there's a percentage of Jay-Z that could have been for the culture and should have been for the culture and let Wayne do it, period. Now, people feel like um, Jay-Z um, doesn't like Young Money at all. And they feel like that Jay-Z would have been upset if he brought out Drake and Nicki Minaj. They feel like Jay-Z would have been mad at Wayne if, if he brought out Nicki and Drake. Okay. Now, me personally, I don't know. People feel like the issue is not really between Drake or Nicki. It's more so just between Wayne. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's a lot to unpack here with this halftime show situation. Okay. This halftime show situation has caused the internet to go crazy. I mean, all the hip hop icons are speaking on this right now. Um, many people just feel like it's just Jay-Z. You're crazy. You're evil. You are not fair. You're not for the culture. You're a sellout. OK, you are a man who, you know, just puts himself first. OK, but while I understand people want Wayne, I feel like we cannot sit around and like negate Kendrick Lamar's success and talent. I feel like Kendrick is also talented as well. I, and, and, you know, through the through the smoke and fire and stuff, I think that we are forgetting that Kendrick can actually rap and perform as well. And Kendrick is deserving of this moment. You know, like he's talented. So I, I think that all this conversation is kind of like, I'm not saying Kendrick is like somewhere crying. Oh my gosh, they don't want me to do the halftime show. But I feel like it's a bit distracting from Kendrick's actual, you know, qualities as an artist, you know? Um, so let's not act like we have Donald Trump performing on the halftime show stage now. Let's not act like it's Trump performing. We have Kendrick Lamar. I mean, he's really a pretty good rapper. Great, you know? But yes, y'all, this conversation has been a lot. Um, what do you think about it? Let's chat down below. Um, do you all agree with the point of view of, you know, just because somebody is in their hometown means that that person from the hometown needs to do the halftime show there? Like, you know, let's talk. Let's chat. Is Jay-Z to blame? Is everybody overreacting? Is Kendrick, is, is Kendrick Lamar a bad choice? Is Wayne really the good choice? Let's have a conversation down below. I would love to see what you got to say. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Be safe.